like any good nerd, I've read The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings, and a assortment of other Middle Earth books. Reading those books kind of makes living in the real world seem kind of lame, and makes me kind of want to live in Middle Earth. I've had neighbors similar to Gollum, especially in college, but it's not really the same thing. I want the action, the adventure, to live in a place where my wide and short feet would be commonplace and acceptable instead of kind of weird. Since I'm a lady, I can't make up my mind or think very rationally, so I can't really decide if I'd want to be a hobbit, an elf, or whatever. So here are my top five reasons to be each of the groups in Middle Earth. When someone tells me to go crawl in a hole, I can say, I will, and I'll enjoy it. You can get a second breakfast. Bosses in the real world don't recognize a second breakfast break. What the hell is that all about? There ain't no party like a hobbit party. My older brother stole all of the height out of my mom's womb, so it would be nice to be around people who are actually shorter than me. I could get in tight with a hobbit and get a date with Aragorn so that I could take him away from Arwen and be a hobbit homewrecker. In case there was something super obvious that I wasn't understanding or noticing, I could probably have Legos around to point it out to me. Mr. Captain Obvious. I'd be prettier than everyone else. I'd be like a bajillion years old and still look great and not need to get plastic surgery, so I wouldn't look like half the women in, half the women in Hollywood or Bruce Jenner. Running over the snow like Legolas does in Lord of the Rings, that would be an awesome party trick. I could convince Arwen that Aragorn's not all of that, so that I could steal him and have him for myself, so I could be an elf homewrecker. I'd have facial hair and not need to wax. I could live inside a mountain. I'd be like the ultimate mountain woman. Take that Jeremiah Johnson. They're mining cool stuff, like, all the time. There's so much of it that they probably wouldn't notice anything missing, so I'm sure I could find something shiny to go all golem about. Based on the Hobbit movie, and Thor and Oakenshield, or Thor and Smokenshield, as I call him, because he's so darn cute, I think it's safe to say that dwarf men brood better than any other men, so it's something to brag about. I could ask Gimli to introduce me to Aragorn so that I could kidnap him and hide him in the mountain so he could get Stockholm Syndrome and fall in love with me so that I could be a dwarf homewrecker. Really, I just want to find someone to introduce me to Aragorn so that I could just have him for myself and be a human homewrecker. It's dating Aragorn too much to ask. 